If I would, I could be you. Take the dynamite. Hooray! My butt itches. We've been to the leather shop. As dictated by the scroll, you spread the ashes in a human shape in the circle and add the stardust and glass sphere while intoning the ritual chant. Dance, magic dance! Put on your red shoes and jump, magic jump! Ashes to ashes, funky to funk, funk to funky. Shake it up, shake it up, move it up, move it up, ch ch, -ch changes The universe shudders ecstatically around you as the ashes writhe and transform into the glamorous skeleton you've ever seen. What up, dog? Whoa, that's the coolest skeleton you've ever seen. Do I have to fight it? The skeleton of Dave B. I got a berry knife. Okay. That was great. That was totally worth it all. It was David Bowie. It was David Bowie. That was... Okay. Fantastic. <clears throat> Must have my stench barrier. Can anyone tell me if you solved the buffalo pile jar puzzle? No, we fucked it up. Our milk line fused shut. You only get like one shot at it. Sleep it resets. Oh. I'm ready to fuck. I'm so sexy. I only need a couple more uh, regular cards. I've got all the complicated I need. There we go. I'm thinking like four to five more maybe will do it. Finish him! Kablow! Try the smoking pistol. Okay. My pistol shooting's terrible. Not getting cards from those. I need the key for this. And I'm pretty sure I need safe cracking to get the rest of the key pieces. Still don't know where to get safe cracking from. It's probably in the Alexandria Ranch. I need to blow the cannon into the the pit, the steel pit, I still think. I need a better range finder, maybe? An improved range finder, perhaps? P.O. Box. Artillery targeting flare. Beautiful. 
P.O. Box 114. Oh shit. Thank God for lock picking. <coughs> Roll out. You encounter a man for who, for some reason, has set up three wood posts sticking out of the ground with the first one encircled by a pyramidal stack of differently sized stone rings. The man is looking at the stones and scratching his head when he sees you. He asks if you mind helping him move the stones to the third post. You give the man and his stones the double middle fingers and stride away with deep satisfaction. Oh, man. That's how we do it. Place the targeting flare. Huzzah! Insert your cannonball. I have no idea how to actually aim the cannon at the flare. Um, hopefully it doesn't run out. I'll BRB. Ballistics chart, nice. Bye. All the keystones, Jesus. Excuse me. Light it up. I better have hit that shit or I'm gonna be pissed. I lost my pickaxe! I have another one for 750 I can get though. Yes, girl. Percussive maintenance. Advanced cow punching. How to cheat at poker. Gold metal silver smithing. I don't have needles. Holy shit. Time to get smacking. So that is for that one place that needs the latch for the dynamite. I don't remember where it is, though. Meddling silver things. Expert silversmithing. After you finish reading it, you absentmindedly drop it in a near mailbox and are unable to retrieve it. Happy birthday, Mr. Postman. How to cheat at poker. Let's hit the table. Just experience because I'm so fucking good at cow punching, it's ridiculous. Dick around. That thing's too strong. Okay, we need more lock picking. Is Sally's little camp gone? Oh yeah, it's gone. I need Sally's little camp, damn it. Let's go back to the circus and see if this guy cares about our cow beans or whatever. I checked out the tannery you mentioned to it. There was leather there that wasn't possessed, and we'd know if they can animate any old leather because of people's hats and stuff. I think it's just untanned hides. Well, now that is information worth knowing. How nice it is when an arrangement works out to mutual benefit. There's more where that came from. If you can tell me more about the tanning process. There's a plant called Cow's Bane. They use it in tanning leather. Apparently the cows hate it and attack anyone growing it. Fascinating. This is valuable information. If you can provide me with a sample, I will reward you handsomely. I don't trust this guy, though. Fuck it. You hesitate. Barnaby Bob will surely give you a lot of meat for the seeds. 
but depending on your priorities, there might be better uses for them. Let's not give him the seeds. It's warning me, it's warning me. Well, heed the warning for now. I don't want to be a douchebag. Where's my fucking... There it is. Yeah, I could sell my cow stuff. Hold up, hold up. I mean, I'm rolling in meat right now. I'm rich. Okay. Let's go to Hellstrom Ranch and wander around a little bit. Can I actually find places? You spot a makeshift signpost stuck into the ground a few yards away from the road and stop to check it out. It says, free meat. And indeed, there's a small pile of meat lying in front of it. You're so distracted from rolling your eyes at the obvious trap, you almost missed the goblin sneaking in behind you. He's wearing an old buffalo skull as a helmet, which you have to admit looks really metal. Foolish human is falling into my clever trap. Now you are giving me valuables or I'm beating you up. You know, this may be the first time I've been mugged by a goblin. Usually you guys are more or less peaceable. I am smart like human. Why making things myself when robbing easier? Smart like human is a very accurate description of the idea. Yeah. Calm down. Some kind of agreement. Nope, I can't intimidate him. Let's go. You're gonna get fucking wrecked, son. ka ka cha ka cha Sit down. Enchanted buffalo skull. I can't buy the pickaxe because, yeah, it was at a wandering camp, which I would love to have. I can't believe there is this much more stuff in the game to do. Goodbye. Oh, not quite. Hit him where it hurts, Susie. What up, Vinkin? Man, I need to find a new location really bad. I'm gonna go get more words, yeah. Haul it up. Free experience for me, please. There's a lot of shit going on. Clowns, cows, aliens. All sorts of shit. Primary machine. Return West Bridge. North System Cache. Maintenance Fluid Headwear. I didn't have enough cards still. On Bekus. I don't know that word still. Filthy fuck. Let's go check out Frisco. Let's get a frisky. Get the fuck out of my face. I'm doing handstands over here. What the hell? Oh, right. What have you got? What's the huge brawl over there? You can tell me about Frisco. What have you got? Those aren't bad. Those are plus nine a pop. Hmm. No walking normally allowed. Did I already pick up a comedy flyer? Aha! Thank you! 
<clears throat> Finally, something. Defend yourself. Damn, didn't one shot it. Oh, yeah, you're a dick. Memore, two months in a row. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the support. By the way, guys, in like four days, it's our five year anniversary for the stream. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna do something special for it. Maybe some giveaways, maybe some ridiculous, um, other stuff planned. So that'll be a lot of fun. I have no idea what we're gonna play. Did you report your findings in the mind of the professor? I tried to, he wasn't interested. Hey there, Sayuzi. I got an Olive Garden's homestead. Okay. I did that. How to how to how to Wesco Shafter's the name and comedy's the game. Are you here for a real fast laughing good time? Okay, so a skeleton walks into a bar and the bartender says, Wait, it's a horse, not a skeleton. Sorry. Anyway, after the bartender asked the horse, Hey, why is your face so long, buddy? Um, okay. Wanna hear another one? Alright, a guy walks into a bar and the bartender says, Sorry, we don't serve goblins here. Oh, wait, I forgot to mention the guy's a goblin. Anyway, um, the end. What the hell? Okay, here's a good one. Take my wife, please. Please? That's it. Want to hear another one? Um... Anyway, I just uh, flew in from Canada, which is weird, right? Because people can't fly except for in balloons or gliders, I guess. We won't have any actual airplanes for at least another couple of decades anyway. You're real bad at this. No, I'm not. You're bad at it. The stuff you do, dumb things, probably. Come on, let me tell you another one. Okay, so a guy walks into a bar and he asks for a beer and a mop. And the bartender says, what's the mop for? The guy replies, because I'm a skeleton. Boy, it was really cold yesterday. You're supposed to ask me how cold it was. Oh my god. Wanna hear another one? <laughs> Here's a classic. What walks on four legs in the morning, and two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? A man. You're not good at comedy. Shut up, I'm great at jokes. No, you aren't. But what about my... Your timing is terrible. Timing! So, my Uncle Alex thinks he's a chicken. And, um, uh, my wife suggests that we should take him to see a psychiatrist. And I said, maybe we should take him to a regular doctor. Because I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be possible for a regular human man to lay eggs. Want to hear another one? So, I've got a man job as a manager on a baseball team. And all the players have weird names. Like, there's one guy literally named Who, and another one called I Don't Know. Third base. We already heard this one! Quit! Alright, alright, fine, I admit it. I can't tell jokes worth a darn. What else am I supposed to do, though? He is good at banjo. Yo, dog, go to dirt water. I can't rob your little shack? What? I want the shack. I want the little banjo dude. Oh god. Um... Wait, I gave him his hat? He wants some loudinum. I took all my loudinum. I don't know where to buy more from. Yeah, you fucking better be up there!
I'm out. Thank you. Let's go. Cheat. Cleverly raise. You're smart enough to know you should raise, so you do, by 30 meat. I am going to check. We have a 70% chance to win. I'm gonna mock Sicilicily Rage. You gained the billion meat. Annie up. Cheat. You get caught cheating or forced to discard four of your cards. Well, that sucks. Motherfucker. I'm gonna cheat again in a second. Cheat. God damn it, I can only cheat once a day or something? I'm winning, boys. I don't give a fuck. Cheat. It, it sucks. Maybe I need to raise it up more. I'll spend all my damn meat here. It's way better to just strategically dries. 80% chance. Okay. Requires grit and grit your teeth and strategize. Okay, I don't have enough grit. Oh yeah, girl, cheat it um. Raise it up, baby. Three sixty. Winner, winner, fuck boy dinner. What do I need to do, girl? I guess I'm going to the Dutch oven. There's something I didn't do there that I need to do. <clears throat> oh, I can also smack that, uh... <clears throat> that card in that mine or whatever, too. I can go to the Garden of Olives, yeah. <clears throat> I could do that. I'm humping my lantern. Hump, pump, pump, forcibly hump my lantern. Give it good, real hump, pump, pump. Alright, I don't have that. This is the wrong place, shit. Or is it in the other room? The monolith is dark. North Central Positronic Reactor Quick Gate Facility. I don't have the key for it. Okay. El Vibrato Headband might do something. I don't think so. Halloway's hideout. Finally, some more places. I found this silver pin, Halloway. I think it belongs to you. I was hoping to not see that again. I locked that up with the keys inside on purpose. Too many bad memories. I appreciate the uh, intention. That's real kind of you. But go ahead and keep it. Okay. What happened to the squirrels? One day they were here, and the next day they were bloodstains. Had the creepiest dream that night. I dreamt a little girl with a big, empty, white eyes jumped in through my bedroom and asked me if I wanted to have tea. Oh, dude. He sells infinite pickaxes. That's my shit. Jar of peanut butter. A clip-on bow tie. 
You never know when you might need that. I mean, I'll buy a couple of them. So the little girl's up here somewhere. That little doll. I fucked up the little doll and I killed all the squirrels by unleashing her. No, the squirrels! A tree next to you explodes in a shower of splinters. You turn your head slightly to regard a stump with a hatchet sticking out of it. Then turn the other way to regard the large bear that threw it at you. On second glance, you see that it isn't a bear at all, but a huge muscular man with a giant beard and bear skin pants. Howdy. If you think you're going to take me live, you got another thing coming, pal. But I was thinking it was more like, what should I do for lunch? And, oh, that's a nice tree. I know you're a, one of them bandit hunters. You ain't going to catch me hibernating. I'll fight the shit out of you. Don't you laugh at me. Hi -ya 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 -ya! That's a one shot. I got bear skin pants. 40 HP. Holy mother of God. A creepy fucking doll, always. Howdy, stranger. Nice garden you've got there, Olive. Why, thanks. Looks delicious. J Lotus, five months in a row. Woof. Thanks, J Lotus. Oh, I don't grow them to eat. I just grow them to grow them. In fact, if you've got the know how, you're welcome to harvest them. Thanks. Sure thing, hun. Why, I'm always happy to meet another cactus aficionado. Did you know there's more than 2,000 different breeds of cactus? All different shapes and sizes. I'll be. It's the cactus fucker. Hey, SPC tins. Five months in a row as well. Welcome back. Thanks, guys. If you know what sort of cactus to look for, they'll help you survive on the desert for quite a while, too. They collect and store a lot of drinkable water and several variety bear edible fruit. That's fascinating. And that's even before we get into their medical uses. Did you know if you sterilize cactus spines over hot coals, you can use them for sutures? Although you have to be careful because there's a couple of reeds whose spines are actually venomous. Well, I'll be darned. Did you know that saguaro cactuses? Those are the tall ones with the arms. That you'll probably picture when you think about cactuses. Generally, they live to be about 100 and 170 years old. Sometimes as old as 200 years. Heck, they aren't even considered adults until they're 125. You probably think I'm silly, but I kind of think of these cactuses as pets. They're my big prickly children. Though a lot easier to take care of, obviously. People think of me as the weird cactus lady that lives outside of town. That doesn't matter to me so long as I've got my needle babies. You know, if you love cactuses so much, why don't you marry one? Bear, you are definitely not the first person that suggested that. And I'll tell you what, I would absolutely positively marry cactus if I could find one that wanted to marry me. Got him! Holy mother of pearl. You are a G, lady. To dirt water we go, baby. You have a cactus pet, Dova? Sweet. <clears throat> oh, do I have someone for you? Gotcha! She's a cactus-loving lady named Olive Garden, and she's a real peach. You give Cactus Bill her directions to Olive's ranch and hitches the ride on the next passing stagecoach. Godspeed. Well, let's go check on in on the little lovebirds. Damn. Hey, Bill, I see you found the place. I found the love of my life, and it's all thanks to you, Bear. Yes, thank you. It was love at first sight. We got married right away. Well, I'm just glad to have helped someone find happiness in this desolate wasteland. Good luck to you both. Don't I get something? Don't I get, like, a treasure or something? Fuck. I can't remember if it was this mine that I got a smack. Maybe something special in the end. Could be. Is 
visit this place. All right, what is this, the storage? other things at Alexandria. True. If I can get safe cracking, that would be nice. Don't think this is the right place anyway. Scooch. Rich vein, poor vein, and the best love poem ever written. This love poem is so good you're afraid to even read it because you might fall in love with the book. This is a copy of the popular financial advice book from a few years ago. It's rare because of the various crusades to destroy every copy of it. You know how to get a lot of more meat out of veins. Unfortunately, the book was so old and crumbly that reading it once caused it to be destroyed. So much for literary preservation. Okay. <sighs> Where have I not gone? I'm about to just start, like, ticking them off one at a time. Let's go check out Soup Stock. A grim-looking cowboy rides up and blocks your path. Hold it. This area is full of cows, and I can't let you go any further. It ain't safe for regular folks. Y'all go ahead and turn back now. Well, thanks for the warning, but what if I refuse? I'll use force if I gotta. You're going to ensure my safety by beating me up? I recognize the conundrum, but that's the times we're living in. Who just subbed? Ah, penality! 38 years in a row. Thanks, dude. Let Susie handle this one. Appreciate the warning, but I never let a damn cow tell me where I can and can't go, and I ain't about to start now. I get what you're saying, but I think you're underestimating. You want to count the notches on my rifle butt? Hmm, all right. It's on your own heads, then. Ain't nothing new. That's right, Susie. You fuck his face up. How do I get into this shit? 